uh, American medicine is reductionist. We like to reduce everything to the uh, lowest common denominator, which even starts with molecules, for that matter, not to, not to cast dispersions on the world of basic science. But I think there are too many basic scientists teaching, um, teaching medical students about clinical medicine. And that might sound a bit highfalutin to me to say that, because, again, I don't want to make it sound like there is an incredibly important role for the world of basic science. But there's also an important set of skills in clinical medicine that only some teachers know about. And there needs to be more of those teachers in medical schools teaching third-year medical students and second- and first-year medical students how to take a history, um, how to understand the patients uh, in the context of the biopsychosocial model. And what we've come to learn is that the brain and the gut are connected by a complex series of neural you know, circuitry, um, the details of which are being worked out every day. And uh, it's, not, it's, it's actually reductionist, again, um, to think that the brain and the gut are two completely different things. Um, it's uh, Descartian. So Descartes was the first, person, uh, first philosopher of mind, and he um, maintained that the mind was immaterial and not part of the human body, and uh, through the pineal gland in the brain, the immaterial mind uh, transmitted thoughts through the pineal gland and into the rest of the body. Well, we've come to learn that that's not the case, that the brain um, is, in fact, a physical structure, and whatever you believe about the immaterial world uh, doesn't necessarily change the fact that you have a material brain in your head that's connected by materials, by nerves, into your gut. The whole thing is one physical system. So the biology is where it all starts. It's not psychology necessarily. And where does the mind and the body uh, meet? That's a, that's a Descartian uh, debate. But one thing that's clear uh, from my perspective is there's a lot of physical matter in there and there's a lot of it that's, that's wired up differently. So for some people, uh, they may be more brain than gut and other people may be more gut than brain. And I actually, as a provider, try to tease that out because the treatments may differ depending upon whether I feel this is a little more brain than gut or a little more gut than brain. But there's nothing judgmental or you know, pejorative about saying someone is more brain than gut or the other way uh, around. It's all one system is the way I, I see it. And every day we learn more about what the gut might be doing differently, what the brain might be doing differently, and the truth probably lies somewhere right in the middle.